So during the events of DC's Beast World, where Beast Boy had became Starro and took over the world, became evil and shit, the Green Arrow finally came back after he went missing after Dark Crisis. And he's in the Hall of Justice looking for the Justice League. First, he goes talk to Batman and they tell him the uh, Justice League had disbanded. Then he goes to talk to Superman. He tells him the same thing. And he tells him that the Titans is now basically the leaders of the world. Because when they thought, when everybody thought they died, the Justice League died, they handled that shit. The, the, the Dark Crisis shit very well. He even went to Wonder Woman. She told him the same shit. Then he goes to the rest of the league to ask them. And they all said the same shit. So he goes back to the crib and he tries to see if he's on a different earth. But this is the real earth. Connor was like, man, why are you spying on the friends? He's like, look, I don't like it either, but we need to be sure, son. Disbanding the Justice League, I don't buy it. Something don't add up. And it start with Amanda Waller. Why is she up to, what is she up to? She made a deal with Merlin. I want to know why. He said, you, uh, Dinah and L Lion, fill me in. And she is clearly making bigger moves than the rest of my former teammates are seeing. She's always hated us, but there's something more going on here. Let's hit the road, Connor. What about Roy? He's like, he's our main mission. We follow his steps and uh, footsteps, and I think we'll find Roy and Waller. He went missing while he was looking for me. That's when you seen somebody like looking down at him, right? It was Anamanapia. That went down in issue seven. Now in issue eight, Connor at the hospital all fucked up. And Green Arrow dead in the motherfucker. Anamanapia came in talking about some bang, 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 bang. And if you know his powers, he can say like, he does the noises and shit, and that shit really happened. Merc Green Arrow ass, and he shot Connor in the arm. So Connor ass is brooding like a motherfucker, cause he just found his dad. But he said he not calling anyone. There's only one person he needed to talk to, and that was Anamadapia. He knew that somebody somebody helped his ass find his house. That means someone is helping him escape. There is only so many ways to get out of Star City, and he might be gone already. And I'll look for any sign of him, any trace or how he left. I don't care if this my last act. He said he gonna follow Anamanapia to the ends of the earth. So Anamanapia was at this pier, right? Motherfucking boat pulled up for him. He jumps on there. It's this dude. He wanna celebrate because he killed fucking uh, Green Arrow. As he tried to confirm with bro, he's like, look, I already know. We got people in the uh, hospital and shit. They already confirmed everything that his son was running around crying and shit. That's when he heard a noise, right? Right before he heard that noise, though, he said that he was giving uh, Connor the runaround. They'll never find him. Connor ass was on the ass. He's like, how the fuck he find us? So Anamanapia was like, boom, that motherfucker blew the fucking damn thing, uh, the boat up. Connor jumps to the water, gets out the water, tells him, Anamanapia, you killed my father. He's like, hey, this between y'all. When he run up to Anamanapia, they get to fight like a motherfucker. He up here using his powers, talking about some pow, shot at him. And he told him, thump. He throw his ass, though. That's what Connor ran at him. He threw a knife at him, talking about some flip. Jumps at Connor and kicks his ass in the face. Then he runs up on his ass, talking about some bang. Shooting Connor in his fucking head, murking his ass. So bro was about to escape because his helicopter pulled up, right? That's when a green arrow go through the fucking damn ladder. Anamanapia was fucking green arrow the whole time. See what really happened was Anamanapia popped in, right? They looked and seen his ass. He was talking some bang, 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 bang as the motherfucking shoot. They hurried up and get their poles out. Shot the fucking guns from his ass. Kicked the fuck out of him. They said Anamanapia wouldn't talk, but if he wanted to know who sent him to, and why, if we wanted to know. And we need the trick breaking to, as his father put it, spilling the beans to make it believable. I really need to believe it myself. He's like, you ran a scan on me? And they beat the shit out of his ass just to see who the fuck, why uh, Waller hired his ass. He said, bro, you just could have asked. But then that would have fucked up our father son bonding time. Now let's talk. Now let's talk. He said, Waller made some kind of new deal. Open season on superheroes. You kill one, you get a part. No more brain bombs, no more Bella v uh, Reve, but no talkers, uh, no takers yet because everyone thinks it's some kind of trap. Myself and some others arranged the trial run. Anamon Appeal was easy because he loves killing and hates you. Fucking boat singing and shit. He's like, where's Arsenal? He was looking for Waller and he went off the map. He said, oh, your red haired kid came to one of my joints with your girl and Lex with his ex. Left with his ex. They was looking for answers just like you. He's like, tell me where Waller has them and maybe I'll give you a ride off this boat. He's like, what are you talking about? Waller isn't holding your boy. He works for her ass now. Issue nine. So this takes place after Beast World and we go to the Hall of Justice to see Peacemaker and Peace Wrecker, his fucking self from a different uh, reality, which I would say is Earth 3. It's taking everything in the Hall of Justice and they're moving that shit to a new location. They believe Batman kept the prisoners downstairs as well for the uh, most dangerous enemies. They was gonna send a team down there to check for any other surprises. The, ish the other issue was the doorway to the more magical sections. 
None of their people have been able to crack the protection spells down there yet. And not only that, they took over the fucking security system. It took a few days, but the pirate bats were able to get into the systems and gain control of everything. Then they tricked it out and fit it for their own needs. But they got state-of-the-art cameras that can see on all spectres and they can uh, capture any speed. So if Batman tries to hide in the dark, Martian Manhunter is invisible, or uh, Flash tries to race in, they'll see him. Then they got files on pretty much everyone. The, big, the building will know if anyone that isn't human or has the metagene walks into the joint. They even got red sun lamps installed with artificial uh, kryptonite lasers that will bathe the room into rip, uh, radiation if Big Blue tries anything. The artificial kryptonite is uh, tough to come by, but it'll slow them down for a few seconds so that backup can arrive. But Amanda Waller's like, we don't need it. Superman wouldn't dare break into a government facility without proof, not without cause. And so far, they've been giving him nothing to worry about. He's like, damn right, boss. Anyone tries to break into this place, it had to be crazy. So we see Green Arrow falling down, right? Onto the Hall of Justice. He goes to this secret door on the roof that wasn't in any of the blueprints or design and only a handful of members even know about it. Going right into that motherfucker. In Cordo Martis though, right, we meet up with Connor. He goes to this goddamn fucking, uh, this damn jail, right, to meet up with John Diggle. A fun fact, you didn't know that he was an original character for the Arrow TV show. They put his ass in, uh, uh, Green Arrow back in like 2013 in the comics. He came to him looking for help, but he didn't want to help Oliver no more. And this is the first time he ever met Connor, too. He wasn't trying to help that motherfucker, though, until he's like, look, we're talk we're finna go take down Malcolm Merlin once and for all. He was like, all right, fuck it. So we see Green Arrow in the Hall of Justice, right? He's sneaking around and shit. He's like, Waller isn't just cataloging everything from the Hall of Justice. She's moving it all, but where? That's when the big-ass, bright-ass light came, right? From this motherfucker. He blinding the fuck out of fucking uh, Green Arrow. He talking about some you can't hit what you can't see. He said, who the hell are you? He said, I'm hurt, queen. We were friends on my world before I looked like, you know, this. So he fighting him and shit, right? And Green Arrow was like, look, I taught Roy this trick once. When something bright attacks you, you aim for the lights. He takes the arrow and he hits that motherfucking eye. Then he lunges at his ass. His ass gets cracked. So he's caught. And he's like, then take me directly to Waller then. As you wish. <laughs> Stole off on his ass. So he dazed and he see Peacemaker and Peace uh, Wrecker, right? They was like, damn, Green Arrow, huh? Be the first to break in. I thought it would be Batman. Old girl was like, I thought it would be fucking Wonder Woman. So they stringed his ass up, right? And he was like, god damn, there's another one of you? Peace record? How the hell did you get stuck with two of you motherfuckers? Stole off on his ass. He's like, fucking multiverse. So they up here. Still off on his ass. And he's like, all right, that's enough. He's ready. Mr. Queen. That's when Amanda Waller come in on his ass. He's like, what do you think of my new interrogation room? I didn't even have it built. It was Batman's before I took it over. He's like, what are you doing, Waller? This isn't you. You were always a bit of a nutter, but never like this. You never tried to take over the world. She said, who said anything about taking over the world? I'm trying to save it, queen. When I was on Earth 3, I saw what people with powers are capable of when left unchecked. It's been explained to me that Earth 3 is the opposite of our Earth, but all these worlds look the same to me. A benefactor b brought me home and gave me a new mission. At first, I didn't know why, but since I've been back, the world keeps showing me why. And that involves taking people hostage and making them work for you. Like Roy, she was like, he broke the law. He went tried to get into a damn secret government facility and was caught. I offered him a reduced sentence if he worked for me and he, li he took it. That's it. He's like, that's bullshit. You've been messing with us for God knows how long. And you fucking uh, working with Mar Malcolm Merlin. Separated my family and shit. She was like, that's because I wanted you. As she let him go, he's like, what? She said, there's a war coming, a big one. You can feel it in the air. A war between the people who have power and the people who don't. Having power doesn't automatically make you a hero. You have proven that many times, queen. When we worked together years ago, I had high hopes. You could work with me to protect it from your so-called friends. He's like, not a chance in hell. Tell me where Roy is now. She's like, look. I'll make a deal with you, Queen. If you work with me, I'll tell you everything directly to Roy and help you both with your uh, get your whole family back and the location of Malcolm Merlin. I got a bomb in his head. You don't think I don't know where his ass at? But I need you to steal something for me. The most dangerous weapon in the whole world. Secret. He's like, what? Oh, you got to be more specific than that. She's like, I heard that the computers was destroyed and nothing left, but secrets can never be destroyed, can they? He's like, what are you talking about, Waller? What do you want? I need you to steal Sanctuary. Issue 10, right? Green Arrow was like, why would I work with you, Waller, to recover anything? She said, because you know that the sanctuary files falling into wrong hands could be a disaster. Batman told me those files were erased. That's what Green Arrow said. 
She said, I heard different. So 48 hours ago, I sent the team to acquire them, but that team never returned from the mission and all communication has been cut off. I suspect they are in grave danger. And Roy was heading that way, leading that team. She was like, that's correct. Where, Waller? You need to bundle up, queen. As you see, both him and Connor is on the fucking damn uh, snowmobile. Last time he seen Roy was in Heroes in Crisis. His ass died when Wally was trying to help him. It was a big thing with Wally. And he was pissed about that shit. Roy was taken from him. Then after the whole Dark Crisis thing and he got sent to this planet right here, Leon came to the alien planet he was stranded on after the business was pry in the dark, uh, the dark, great darkness. She the one that told him that Roy was alive. He thought it was some multiverse shit. She was like, no, listen to me. I know my dad, it was him. Uncle Ali, Roy is alive. He met Roy when he was just a kid, took him in, taught him everything he knew. Maybe even too much because he learned how to be his own worst enemy just like him. Over the years, we came in and out of each other's lives. He was his own man and I respected that. I promised his daughter that I would find him and so making a deal with the devil like Waller was easy. And if Roy is in any danger, I need to be there for him. So this door right here is Roy and his team was supposed to be. They end up feeling some shit though, right? So they was like, step back. It was Arrowhead, Red Canary, and fucking Red Arrow ass. Arrowhead, he didn't know much about Kissy King Jones. She hung out with the young Justice kids, but she was an Olympic level archer. Her specialty is long distance like a sniper. Emiko, his half sister, Red Arrow. Once upon a time, she was his sidekick, hung out with Bruce Bat to uh, Bruce's brat too much, and we lost touch. And Red Canary, she knew she came through in Dark Crisis. Dinah filled them in on the new kid on the block. She popped up when the world thought that they were dead. She might be green, but if Dinah vouches for you, you're good in his book. So they was like, all right, we over, uh, we outnumbered, Hawk. But no, the uh, element of surprise is over. We can. That's when you hear Ollie. Another archer popped up. This time, it was Speedy, Mia. He met Mia Darden when they both were lost. She had lived a hard life and wanted help. She figured out Oliver Queen was Green Arrow almost immediately. She started to train herself and he did and so did Connor. Then she took on the name Speedy. But the universe tried to change their history, aka the reboots, the big crises and shit, took her from him and just like it's taken so much, just like it's taking so much, sorry. So they picked him up and was like, hey, sorry about that, Ollie. Roy told us to stop anyone who showed up. No questions asked. Me and the girls have been hiding here for in the snow for two days. Our snow trailer is camouflaged. I never thought it would be you coming here. But there you are. I remember back in the day how you used to talk about hiding and striking at the right time. So he waited and then boom, come at the right time and her sure enough. He's like, stop, kid. You got lucky. Now, how about a real uh, hello? as he hugged her and this is like part of the damn family team that he got back and this is also red canary's first time meeting green arrow told him he's a she's a huge fan and this emiko's first time meeting his her nephew she's like what are you my step nephew or something he's like do i call you aunt emiko she was like please don't so because uh amanda waller put a brain bomb inside of her she started getting back into doing the arrow shit again when she quit she ain't got no reason she don't know why the hell she wants her she even put one in red canary head too He's like, the sooner that we can find Roy and finish this mission, the sooner we can find out. It said, Roy went in yesterday and then the door slammed shut behind him. We have tried everything to break into it, but nothing worked. He's like, hmm, damn, I get it. Scan it. It let him in there. He told them to hang back. If an hour goes by, come in there. So he goes up in there and he's like, I know why Waller wanted me now. She needs a member of the Justice League on her side. So he gets to the damn computer and like, he's like, Roy's break in triggered her self defense system. But why hasn't, uh, wasn't anyone in the league notified? Oh, that's right. There is no Justice League. Great. Sanctuary was designed to create hard light uh, holograms to help us deal with our trauma. What does it use to defend itself? So as you see, an arrow come by and it was Roy. His ass lunged at him thinking that he wasn't real and they both up here just hitting each other and shit. Green Arrow figured out that he wasn't fucking no hard light construct, but bro ass wasn't believing that shit. He's like, fight back. Why you ain't fighting back? You're a trick. Oliver been missing for months. How do I know you're real? He's like, because you're my son. He's like, Ollie. Then he hugged him. Now he finally got Roy back on the team. Then they both got to asking the same questions. How are you alive? How have you been? How, who found you? Dinosaur. Though. He's like, all right, but we, we got to talk later because uh, first, I'm, fill me on on what the fuck is, uh, why are you working with Amanda Waller? She said I had a brain bomb on my head. I don't know when she did it, but there it was. Said I needed to complete a few missions for her and she blow my head up. But he said she lied to you, bro. It's not that kind of brain bomb. They didn't blow us up. They teleported us someplace else. 
but they can be disrupted. I learned that the hard way. He's like, well, it's worse than that. She has Jade, which is his his wife, the baby mama. He said, then we get the sanctuary files and get the hell up out of here. He said, wait, you're still going to give Waller the files? He said, I'm working a long con here, Roy. You're just going to have to trust me. And it's like, but we still got a problem here. This motherfucking sanctuary finna send these hard light things at us. And when your ass came in here, it restarted the shit. So now it's reset to you. As we say, this motherfucker got to fight the Justice League. Issue 11. He's like, why the fuck's the Justice League attacking us, G? He said, I think I have some unresolved issues to work out with the League. He's like, so the Sanctuary program thought sending hard light holograms of them to beat us up would help you? He said, now we're both in over our heads in a bunker in the middle of nowhere. He's like, just remember, it's not really them. He said, man, them attacks seem pretty real, Oliver. So are ours as the rest of their ass came through. He's like, man, I told you to wait. He's like, man, we got bored. Speedy's like, I'm going to take it. This ain't the real League. What's the plan, Dad, is they was beating the shit out the damn Justice League? He's like, you see that mask? It, it contains the sanctuary files, and we need to get it before it resets itself and send its own reinforcement. So you're not going to get anywhere close to that thing, Ollie? He said, I don't need to. Cover me. <laughs> Shot an arrow, right? Grabs the mask. They pull that bitch off, and they dip. But the Superman motherfucking hard light was chasing their ass. He's like, you think it's blast are as powerful as the real Superman's? He's like, I'm not raiding around to find out. He's like, shut up and run. The motherfucker shot his beams like, bah! blew the fuck up. Everybody made it, though. Red Canary is like, that's awesome. I like her because this is her like first time out there with everybody. And she been getting it in with everybody. Really been proving herself. Anyway, he's like, hey, Connor, last time I saw you, you were being teleported away with Ian. He's like, did Oliver tell you to not tell you about Liam Roy? He's like, what? Connor, take Roy to Gotham so he can see Lily. He said, what are you going to do, bro? He going to take that damn mask back to Amanda Waller. He said, no, nah, I don't think so. She's like, excuse me. He's like, you need to end up your end of the deal. Where's Malcolm Merlin? She's like, how about I take you to him? He's like, what the? And then his ass started to teleport to him. He's like, see, go see your daughter, Roy. So who is Malcolm Merlin? Malcolm Merlin knew fucking Green Arrow longer than most people. His old stage name used to be the magician, though, back before he was known as Malcolm Merlin. People think archery is easy, but it's so much more than aiming at your target. You have to use your whole body, mind, and heart. But it's hard to take credit for something that I, uh, can get you arrested. So I joined the circus where I was loved. I have no idea at the time, but the young Oliver Queen witnessed my skills and was inspired. That was the start of us entering and leaving each other's lives. Years later, long after I had left the circus for a better life, Oliver was Tommy's wayward friend, rich and spoiled, a bad influence. And they looked at fucking Ma Malcolm Merlin as a lame. They thought he was just a boring ass old man. His son had no idea that his white collar life was a cover up because he was an assassin trained by Rahal Ghouls in the uh, League of Assassins. Trained to be the best of the world. The Arrow is qu a quiet killer. He liked it, that shit. And he was very good at it. One day, Oliver returned to him. He sought him out. He had been stranded on a deserted island and learned to fire an arrow and wanted him to teach him more. He could see it in his eyes. He was like him, so he trained him. His own son followed his, his footsteps, but he had taken the wrong path, lost in the boardrooms and meetings, trying to oppress him to Wall Street uh, deal. He had become the boring one. But there was a second chance, someone to pass along all that he had learned. So he told him everything, but he was not happy that he, as he hoped. He wanted him to join him and give him the option. But uh, if he can beat him in a shoot off, he'll let him walk. It all came down to one shot. And that became a long battle between them two. Whether it was the Justice League or his little family that he found to Star City, their paths would cross over and over again. But neither of them was able to hit their true target. So he did what he was taught old Oliver to do. Take a step back, take a deep breath, and choose his target. He went to Amanda Waller because she needed non-superpower people. But he needed the resources that she had. He said killing Queen wouldn't be enough. He wanted him to be alone. He injected him with some kind of brain bomb that would forever keep him and his little family apart. He watched as he twisted and turned himself into knots trying to keep his family away from him. He thought he would have their last confrontation right, but he fucking left them ass in a different dimension. It took some time, but he found the way out to the future. The time machine was broken, so he was trapped in the same fake world he had set up for Queen. He was stranded, but that was something he was missing to finally beat him. To understand his great enemy, he survived and trained for years. He was patient. He knew that him or Walla would come from him. And that brings us to now. He tells him, you're the better archer. You win, Oliver, but that doesn't mean I won't kill you. You see this toy Waller had you uh, collect? Fascinating. He's been watching these confessions. I am Arsenal. I am a superhero, the thing said from the mask. I noticed you're not among them. Why is that, Oliver? Don't think it was needed. 
Too stubborn to admit when you need help. Classic, Oliver. Well, regardless, I figured out how to activate it as he pressed the fucking button. Then he make all his family pop up as he got to fight all they ass now. And they started beating his ass and he wouldn't protect them. He's like, I can't. I don't want to fight you. They's beating the shit out of his ass. Issue 12. It starts him off when him up here talking about he remember when he first went to the island and everything that he learned on the island to get to where he at. As we get back to the fight, they was beating the shit out of him. He's like, this is everything I imagined. After all these years, revenge is so much sweeter than I hoped. Connor came up behind him, cracked him. He's like, ah! Then he stopped. He's like, all right, that's enough. Bring him to me. I don't want you to die right now, but that would be too easy for you. I want to watch you as your family tortures you endlessly. Maybe Roy takes a hand off, Dinah here takes off a foot, and then I will take your heart out. Then his ass pushed his ass down. He said, you and Waller. Put those implants in my head that can keep me and my family apart, right? But I figured something out. They can be used to bring us together. As his ass pressed the button, then he make his real family come because the motherfuckers that was beating him up was the hard light motherfucking constructs. He's like, I can make as many as I fucking can, dumbass. He's like, you don't get it. The damn program works on the frequency. You get a loud enough scream, and you can fuck all that shit up. As Black Canary talking about some that shit fucking fucks up all that shit he said i'll just make more i have a few trick arrows up my sleeve too like an arrow that aims for the loudest sound no <laughs> oliver connor no it's his fight now <laughs> they pick up their bow and arrows aiming at each other <laughs> let that bitch go <laughs> fucked his ass up and it barely hit fucking oliver close but no cigar i refuse to let let it end like this like it's okay someone else has plans for you an old friend of yours as you see somebody teleport in it was john dickle he took his ass away then they all went home kind of they went back to the island so that they can enjoy themselves and this is where lynn and fucking roy finally got to see each other after fucking 12 fucking issues so basically they all kick it with each other queen goes off sit by herself diana come over and talk to him they had this big long ass talk about family and shit and that was the end of that shit the damn arrow family's back together now, issue 13, the current issue, which is a tie-in for the Absolute Power, which I will have a list for. This whole video will be a part of Absolute Power, and I will be doing Absolute Power Ground Zero next. They still on Arrow Island. Qu uh, Green Arrow is laying in the bed with Black Canary. He gets up, see everybody downstairs, they sleep and shit. He goes to see Roy, he sleep with his daughter. Connor and uh, uh, Mia, they outside. So he takes his bow and arrow, kiss Diana, then she leaves. She get up the next morning trying to stretch for him. And he's like, oh, shit, let me go. Hey, anybody seen Isla? As they all in the kitchen cooking breakfast, they over talking to her. And she's like, hey, where the fuck is Ollie at? 48 hours later, right, at the damn Hall of Justice, we see Ollie is over there with Peacemaker. He finally gave sanctuary to uh, Waller. As he's telling uh, dude, like, look, I'm part of uh, Waller's team. Chill out. He said, well, you see, one of your Bellevue Revue's offshoot facilities had a break. And Waller wants your take on it. He said, no, I told Waller I was here to assist with her armory of weapons to make sure everything she acquires stays safe. Everything else is not my problem. He said, oh, I think this has been your problem for a long time. Take a look, queen. He's like, fuck. Roy and Leon, right, they asses over there at Bell Review North, and they break into this cell to go get his baby mama. So they get up in there, and then whoop, whoop, they get caught by these motherfuckers. Something came, those fuck they ass up. It was them. They was beating the shit out they ass. They get to the edge, right? Both of them get out. The, uh, the daughter and the mom get out. But just before he get out, he got whipped up by Green Arrow in his new suit. He was like, man, what the fuck is Waller got you on? You don't need to. She was like, she has nothing over. After Maryland, we're square. I'm making the call myself. I'm not Green Arrow anymore. I'm not a rich playboy either. I'm just a concerned citizen. You can have everything. The island, the house, the cards, my kingdom, it's yours. He said, I don't want it. I want to know what the hell you're thinking. Roy, after everything I've seen, Waller is right. Something needs to change. I believe in Waller. He said, come on, man. Come with me. Let's talk to Batman and Superman. Let's talk to Dinah. Whatever this is, we can help you. I don't need your help. Kicks his ass off. Like, wow, that was cold-blooded. I'm impressed. Not every day you watch someone kick their sidekick out the window. Dang it. His super hot ex and his little brat caught him. You let them escape. Waller isn't going to be happy about this, queen. Ugh! He grabs his fucking finger and he throws his motherfucking ass like he wasn't shit. What the fuck? Motherfucking Green Arrow become that damn strong. So I let my emotions get the better of me. Won't let it happen again. So they go back and he's like, look, I believe everything that motherfucker said. He looked me right in my eyes when he said that shit. So Emiko's like, it don't matter. We finna go get his ass. I don't care if he kicking and screaming. He's like, uh, guys, 
I know I'm new here and everything, but I think we have another problem on our hands, Red Canary says. They say reports are coming in after all over the heinous attacks from so-called superheroes. Some of the imagery is disturbing, including this amateur building of uh, video of Superman falling from the sky. Yeah, if you didn't know, Superman just got shot in the motherfucking chest. I got the book. It's in the free comic book day. I did a video on the shit already. He's like, Baller, we need to contact our people now. How can we be so sure it's here? Her, I mean, sorry. It reeks of that witch's move. What about Green Arrow? Remember what Roy said, Oliver isn't Green Arrow anymore. That's when Connor said, if my her father rejects his title, then I will be the Green Arrow. And now y'all ass is all caught up on Green Arrow from issue seven up to 13, which is the tie in to the absolute ground zero. And I will be doing a video on that next and have a playlist. This will be the first video on that playlist.